A bad mattress can be the cause of your back pain, your hip pain, or even your shoulder pain. And a bad pillow can cause headaches and neck problems. So this is how you choose a good mattress and pillow. You need a new mattress when your mattress is about 7 to 12 years old and you start waking up with pains. Now a good clue is the body depression, the divot that remains in your mattress after you get up. If that's more than 2 centimeters, you need a new mattress. So what makes a good mattress? One for a bad back. A firm one, right? No. The best mattress is one that keeps your spine in a neutral position and avoids pressure points on your hips and shoulders. If you sleep the whole night on your back or on your stomach, which isn't really recommended, then a firm mattress is fine. But if you move around a fair bit, particularly if you sleep on your side a lot, then the quality of your mattress becomes very important. Mattresses are actually made up of a core, usually springs, some kind of firm foam or latex, and an overlay, the soft top of the bed that's inside the mattress but sits over the core. If the core isn't supportive enough, the mattress sags in the middle. Your spine ends up out of the neutral position and the facet joints in your spine end up compressing against each other. The muscles on the lower side of your spine can become overstretched too. If your overlay is too hard, your hips and shoulders can't sink into the bed at all, so the mid-back sags down, creating similar problems. The solution is a firm, supportive core with a soft overlay. The firm core stops sagging and the soft overlay allows your shoulders and hips to sink in, avoiding pressure points and allowing your spine to maintain its neutral position. It doesn't matter if the core is a high quality foam, latex, continual coil spring or individual pocket springs. They can all work as long as they are quality products and don't sag under your individual body weight. The overlay is the key for side sleeping, and what you should choose depends on your body shape. If you're pretty straight down the side of the body, you can choose a smaller or firmer overlay, which will last longer without deforming. Just go with something that doesn't create pressure points on your shoulders and hips. But if you've got wide shoulders, or your waist is narrower than your hips, you'll need to choose a bigger, softer overlay to avoid pressure points and avoid that mid-back droop. Just be aware though that softer, bigger overlays will compress over time and you'll have to change your mattress or the topper earlier. So, my recommendation for curvier people is actually to buy a mattress with a small overlay and then a separate topper that can be replaced as it compresses over time. That way you don't have to replace the whole bed when you get a little bit of mattress depression. Now mattresses should be flipped or rotated every three months and if you have a separate topper this makes it easier to do even more often. If you're umming and ahhing between two mattresses get the firmer one. One it's more likely to last a bit longer but two if it's a bit too hard you can always add a topper but if it's too soft you're in trouble. Actually, there is a thing you can try if the overlay is a bit too soft and cushy, and that's add extra linen and a mattress cover, and that'll make it feel a little bit firmer. But be aware of this when you go to the shops, because when you go to the shops, there is no cover on the bed, and it can feel nice and cushy, but then when you get home and put a mattress cover on it and some linen, it can quickly change. The most important feature about a pillow is the height of the pillow, when the weight of your head is on it. There's all kinds of fancy shapes out there, but the height is the key. If it's too big, your head's tilted up all night. If it's too small, your head's leaning down to the pillow all night. Now, 10 to 11 centimeters seems to be about the right height for most people if you've got a pillow that doesn't compress too much. Contour pillows are okay, particularly if you lie on your back a lot because they'll support the natural arch of your neck. But a lot of contour pillows are either too big or the curve is too pronounced. So if you want to go with a contour pillow, make sure that that curve is subtle. Now I tend to prefer a firmer pillow, but if you're a back sleeper and you have a habit of rotating your head to one side, which is really bad for the top part of the neck, if you get a softer pillow, like a microfiber pillow, or one of those ones with a water-filled core, 
your head will sink into the pillow more and that will support the sides of your head so you're less likely to rotate. Remember, you can have the best mattress in the world and the best pillow in the world, but if you sleep in all kinds of distorted positions, you're gonna run into all kinds of troubles. So check out my video on the best sleeping positions. I'll put a link at the end. Uh, and I'll also put a list of all the best mattress components to help you make a decision. But that's it for today. Hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, write a little comment, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. The thermal one. One, it'll last a little bit longer, and two, a motorbike will go past and it'll be very annoying. Cover, and that'll make it feel a little bit further. Further. Make it feel a little bit further. God, every time do I have to do that?